Hi, it's Xavier. Hi, I'm Amy. Hi, I'm David. Today, we're going to tell you about the sneaker world. First question, David, why do you think people don't get interested in shoes? Uh, because I don't think people know how big the sneaker industry is and how many stories there are. For example, there's a story for every shoe and for me personally, I just got a little bit into sneakers, but I never really tried to learn about them. So in my case, it was mostly because and before when I just got normal shoes, there was no interest and it was basically the normal. But when you, when you get your first real style shoe or sneaker, it gets really exciting and maybe you should take the opportunity to learn about them. Because when you get your first pair, when you learn about your, new, your first story about the sneakers and where they originated from, you want to learn more and get new shoes. For example, I just bought my new basketball shoes one month ago and I already want to change them just to learn a new story. My shoes were Kyrie Low 4, coming from the player Kyrie that plays in the NBA, a professional basketball player. Because of the many possibilities and stories out there, it's almost like an addiction. I just want to keep buying new shoes and keep learning new, new stories and getting new styles. Even though style is fashionate, it comes with a price. For example, my basketball shoes were 150 and, and paying such a high price can also have some advantage, like practicing to save up money for something you want and putting money aside for your needs. Um, there are some shoes that are very expensive, for example, Travis Scott. So for example, the Travis Scott, they can cost up in the thousands, but generally there are more like 200. So Amy, which shoes should you buy first? Okay, so for like first shoes, you should buy like Air Force One, they're like basic and you can wait with everything. And it's like, there's a lot of kind of way. And you know, when you buy one, you buy generally the black, the white one or the black one. And then after you come back to cost, you go back, you go to custom and it gets a lot more expensive. Then after you can go to Jordan and everything. And with the children, there's a lot of story, and Xavier, I'm gonna ask you, what is the story of Jordan? So back in the 1990s, Michael Jordan was recruited in the Bulls. After a while, he created his own company with Nikes, which were Air Jordan. There were the Jordan ones. Back in the days, that's what he would wear. People nowadays, they don't know the story of him so they judge when people wear Jordan mids. But back in the days, Michael Jordan would only wear mids because for hoops, it's the best shoe because it isn't too high, but isn't too low as well. It's perfect for the ankles and perfect when Michael Jordan would dunk. It is kind of sad that people don't know the story because when somebody that starts to like shoes, they buy Jordan mids because it's less expensive but then after they get judged because there are only Jordan mids. When what MJ did is try to create a shoe for everyone and that everyone would love because they're the best shoes. But even though some people might think Jordan mids are bad, not everyone thinks the same thing. Even I have some Air Jordan 1 mids at home that I really like. But now, the question is, why should you buy Air Jordan 1 mids? Okay, so first, it's less exp expensive than other shoes, like high on everything, and it doesn't bother with the it doesn't bother with the ankles. But personally, I prefer like the high. They're more pretty and everything, but they're a lot more expensive than the mid on the low. In the Jordan ones, I also prefer the highs because there are way more colorways, and most of the times they are more colorful but there's still some that can be darker colors but in the lows there are way less space for colors and i think it's too much small and also there aren't for everybody because some people don't they just look bad in them and other people they look just fat in them so it depends the people uh from my opinion i would choose the mids because i never tried them or never saw them but there doesn't seem to be that much of a difference on photo. So in the Jordan 1, I prefer the mid-red because 
the, the colors are better and they are less high. As a benefit, they are also less expensive, which is always a good thing. My favorite sneakers are not Jordan 1s. They are actually Jordan 4 Retro Metallic Purple, which is another kind of Jordan that came a bit later. But basically, the colorway is all white with some purple on it. The price on it, though, is 700 which is kind of a lot, but I still like them. Okay, the one that I want, they are the 11 Concord Black and White. I really like them because you don't see a lot of people with them and this colorway with the blue on the, um, under the sole, that's really pretty and it makes a lot of difference. They are like 500. So my favorite shoes would be the Jordan 1 Mid Band Red because the colors fit well, the red and black. Uh, and they aren't that expensive, coming at a price of 208 which is pretty affordable. They can also fit with many outfits. The red and black fits a lot with the black and dark blue colors I wear. And they can, I could wear them everywhere to restaurants, a uh, normal day, because they're pretty fancy but pretty casual as well. Personally, in the Jordan 1 Mid, I find that the Hulks, which are purple, green and white is the best colorway since it's kind of rare and i have never seen somebody with them and also purple is one of my favorite colors because i found it's unique and not a lot of guys like it and the sneaker is very affordable you can buy them in the size 11 for only 250 dollars which might seem expensive for some people but for someone who likes shoes 250 is very not expensive okay so me in the mid one i prefer like the hyper wild they're really pretty you can wear it with and the shade of the blue is like amazing and and i really like it and also the price is not that expensive it's like 200 for my size and the price depends on each size the sneaker game is so huge that even like anime there's Comic Con and Sneaker has now created the Sneaker Con. It's often in the United States. I mean, there are, it's always in the United States. But, and most people now are becoming famous because of the sneakers. They have created a big family. And I think it's very nice to see that most people, they don't bully about shoes because it's not very something that can, you can get bullied about. It's just cool to see that most people they just unite and love shoes. Okay, so behind everything we like, there's a lot of story because, yeah, shoes are pretty and expensive and everything, but a lot of people work hard to make, to make them and there's a lot of bad thing behind this. And in this big industry, there's a lot of people who buy shoes, so that means they have to product a lot of shoes. That's why most of the shoes I made in China and India. One of the big reasons they're expensive is because when you buy them, you have to pay for the shipping and this costs a lot of money because there's the duan and everything. It is also handmade, which makes the price go up a lot. So. But to make the shoes, we need people to make shoes. And this country have a lot of people in them, but most of it are kids. So kids have to work also sometimes, which can be sad for some people, but they need people to make shoes. So they use kids and I think it's very bad because some kids they just don't go to school because they have to work and it's pretty much slavery because it's not good for them and their parents know that but since they need the money they still have to work. I think it's bad that people still use slavery because it's not only in India or China. People also not use slavery but they're still racist. They're also racism in the United States, but there it's overrated because it doesn't only happen in schools or at work. It happens in the street with the police. I think that's very bad because the police think they have all the rights and they can do whatever they want. But in fact, they're just humans like us. Okay, so I'm gonna talk about something that happened this weekend. A police brutality happened this weekend because just because of guys that was looking like a guy from Montreal Nord. He got beaten like a lot. He was bleeding and everything. 
police was throwing snow on his face and everyone was trying to help him, but the police was too much for them. And because there was a lot of people that were watching this, and this got a lot of mediatize and went on the TV and everything, but the next day something like this happened too. Anyhow, thank you for listening to this episode of My Quebec City.